Hello, avatars! Great job on choosing an amazing game and community to join. I am Drist. So you have set up shop with your land and house and you realize you have several rooms that you don't use. Waste not, want not, right? So, what do you do? Well, how about renting those rooms out to a friend or fellow avatar? Stay tuned and I will show you how. First step is to tag your property as a rental property. Do this by accessing the Lot Items Permission screen, then checking the box labeled Tenant Mode. This box needs to be checked if you plan on renting out rooms on your property. Next step, assign the player the proper permissions. Access the Manage Lot Access screen, then add the player's name if you have not already done so. The top portion of this screen, from guest to co-owner, are the general permissions to access the things you place on your land, which I have explained in another tutorial. I would advise giving them guest level access, unless you want them to have more access to your property. I am giving my person guest level access, so I am checking that box, and of course, check the box for tenant. By giving them tenant access, that player can place items anywhere on your lot, not just in the room you assign as theirs. Next, assign a room. Right click on the door you want to assign and select edit permissions. Add the player to that list, then assign permissions. Manager can lock and unlock the door when it is locked and can manage permissions for guests. A guest can simply open the door when it is locked and enter the room. And voila, you have a tenant. One thing to remember, no one, including the property owner, can access anything the tenant places down regardless of where they place it. If the tenant places something somewhere the owner does not want it to be, then the owner can send it back to the tenant's bank by right clicking on the item and selecting that option. As far as rental payments go, there is no automated system in place to manage this. So it is up to the owner and the tenant to coordinate how they manage this, whether via mail or in person. If you are not subscribed, click subscribe. If you like what you see, give a thumbs up. And your feedback is welcome in the comment section. 